Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome to another episode of Building Belterra. Today we're going to continue on building our garage here, and we're going to get started on the car wash. It's not going to be too much to build, so we can get the inside of the car wash finished as well. So, like all of our other builds, we're going to use white wool, and we're just going to use the same colors, grey wool and just a little bit of green stained clay as well. So our first block, which is here. So if you go from the corner of this build, you're going to count along by 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then turn right. And then forward by one, two, three, and then you can place your block there. Okay. So that's the first one of the car wash. And this one is going to be six high, so it's three, four, five, six. And then we're going to make that three wide. And it's going to go all the way up. And then we're going to go along by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can go back down. That can be too wide. And leave a space. We're going to have a door here. And then that can go all the way up. Okay. So that's what the front, that's how wide the front will be. And we're going to leave a space there. And then, right there, you can get rid of that block. You can do the same to that side. And you can just place your line of stained clay along there. Okay. And then, you can fill in behind here with white wool. And that's all we're going to do for the front. Like I said, there's no detail or anything. It's all about what's on the inside of this build. So you're gonna, you can copy this for the exit of the car wash, this will be the entrance. And for the sides, all we're gonna do is just count along by 35. And we're just gonna fill it in with some windows. So this needs to be 35 long from the side, so this is one, so you can add another 34, so one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Okay, so that's how wide the car wash is gonna be there. You can bring this side along as well. And I'm just going to show you how to build one of the sides. And then you can duplicate one of the sides on the other side. And you can duplicate what we built there on this side. Okay. So all I've done for the sides is missed a space of three. Here. And then placed a block. Okay. And then I'm going to continue that all the way along. So miss three and a block. Miss three and a block. And hopefully it will work out. So you have three at the end, which I do. And then all I'm going to do is add in an anvil with oak leaves, like we've done with our other build over there. And you can place an anvil in the middle of each of these with the leaves. Okay, do this one as well. So the leaves will go just up by two. And all I've done is filled in this wall with white wool. So it's just plain all the way along. 
and these go all the way up to the top like that. So you can just continue this pattern going along and you can fill them up. Okay, and then on the other side, I have done the exact same. So if we fill in some of this just now. So you can miss your three and place your pillar going all the way up. Miss another three and do the same. All the way up. But the difference on this side is we have windows going all the way along. So, well, we can miss two there, keep a block going there. So you have two at the top and then two windows and then two at the bottom, like that. But you can still add in your anvils. So they can go along like that. So, I mean, I suppose you could have windows on this side. It wouldn't make any difference, but I've only got windows on one side. Because this is mainly the side that you will see. There'll be a road going down here, and this is where the other garage is going to be built, so you don't really see it that much. Okay, so I'm just going to speed this up. All you have to do is just copy what we've already built, and then we can get started on the inside. And then, um, also the easiest way to do this would just be to fill in the blank wall all the way along for both sides, and then dig out the windows. Okay guys, we have finished all the walls. Hopefully you should just have copied what we already did. So the front here is the same as over there. Um, both the sides are the same except this side has a window going down the middle. And all we're going to do is, I'm just going to actually add some stone slab either side of the anvils. Going right along. And then we're going to fill in the roof with the grey wool. Okay. But it's not going to go right up to the edge. It's just going to cover the actual space on the roof. Alright guys, before we put on the roof, we're going to do the interior of the car wash. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is take your just regular stone white wool and glass pane and from the door here you're going to place a block leave a space there for a step and you're going to go right along to the other side and you're going to fill it in too wide so another one there and then you're going to place a line of white wool going along in front of that so white wool there and then a line of glass pane on top, just to make a little walkway to go along. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is add in some anvils going along the ground to make it look like the car wash is automatic so that it seems like your car is being pulled along to the other side. So what we're going to do is leave a space here, so this is the front, leave space and then we can dig out a line going right along, then leave a space of one, two, three and dig right along. Okay, and then we can fill that in with anvils. I'm just going to go right up to the door. And then place your anvils right along. Make sure that they're going in the right direction, so that way. Okay. 
Okay, just to add a few things in here now. Take your fence, and I'm going to use Cyan Wool. You can use any color, I guess. And I'm going to leave a space. And let's see. On the inside, I'm actually going to make a little door here. So take your white wool. And I'm going to just make a line going all the way up there. And then all the way back down here, just to make it look like a door. Like that, okay. And then you're going to leave a space after this door. And then go place your fence right on the edge there. And then you're going to make four along the way. So leave a space, another one, leave a space, another one, space, another one. And you can place that on the other side as well. You're just going to place too high of your wool on top of that as well. Okay. And then next, I'm going to take pistons, a lever. I'm going to use hay, and I need iron as well. Okay, so leave a space after here, and then you can dig out a line that goes right across. Like that, I'm going to fill it in with the pistons just to make this pattern here. And then I'm going to dig out three pieces of glass and these three pieces of wool. And I'm going to build iron all the way up, which is three wide, to the roof. And then we can do the same on this side, but you don't have to dig anything out this time. Like that. And then on the third one down, on the top, you can place a piston on either side. You can place hay bales going across, make sure that they're going the right direction. So along rather than up and down. Destroy one hay on either side and then you can turn on the pistons using the lever. Okay, so that's what that should look like. You can either do it that way or you could have just going across like that. Maybe just keep it that way for this one. Okay, and then obviously we have our roof to go on. And we also have water to go down, but we can't add that until we have our roof. And then on either side of the pistons here, you will need to dig out the bedrock or wherever you have for your road, just so that the water goes down from the roof and doesn't spread. Okay. So the next thing we're going to add is some more of these. So we're just going to add three of them. And it's going to be the same as before. You're going to place fence, three of them with space in the middle. And we'll do one on either side. And you can place your wool on top. Okay, and then I'm going to take, let's see, sponge, if I can find it, there it is, and I'm going to leave a space two, one, two, and then place some sponge there, and I'm going to make that four wide, so one, well, three wide, one, two, three, and that's going to go up by three on that side, we could do the same on that side as well. And then just attach them on with a little roof here. And I'm just going to take some coal just because it's a black color. And I'm just going to make that go up to the roof like that. Just to make it look like it can lift up and down. And we have one final thing to add, which is another one of these. So again, I'm just going to leave a space. Well, actually, we're going to make another line of water. So 
we're going to leave a space of one and then we're going to dig out a line here and then leave a space of one again and dig out a line there. Okay, the water will be coming down from the roof again and going to there and then we can leave one final space here and we can place three more blocks of iron but this time they're going to be in front of this glass here rather than digging it out and that can go all the way up to the roof and then you can do the same on the other side so over here like that and this time I'm going to make it third one up from the bottom and this time I'm going to turn on the levers so we can get rid of those two and you can turn on the levers like that Okay, and then that's our final thing that we're going to do on the inside. All we have to do now is add in the roof and then we can fill in the, the water parts. So I'm just going to fill in the roof with grey wool. We're not going to overlap any of the white wool, we're just going to fill in the parts that are needing to be covered up. So like that. And I'm just going to fill this in all the way down and speed it up. Okay, so we've added our roof. We just have to add in some water and I'm also going to add in some glowstone just to light it up. So I'm going to place the glowstone behind the levers here, like that and I'll place the lever. Like I said, we can't do that can we? So I'm going to place the glowstone and let's see, I'll place it underneath. Just like that. And we can do it for both. This one can go on top there. Okay, let's see, we can add our water, it's just going to go right along the roof, in line with this, so I'm just going to place it right along, like that, and hopefully it should just fall into these gaps here, which it does, and then we have another one, I'm just going to place it right above, well actually place it right above the block next to the anvil. There, and then I can do the same on this side. Um, or maybe I won't actually. I want there to be a gap. So I will actually just place it right above the anvil. I don't think it will go into there. We'll see. So I'm just going to place it right above the anvil. Yeah, okay. So place your water right above the anvil like that, so that way there's a, a gap to get through there. Okay guys, so that is the inside of the car wash finished and the outside. You can add in some more torches, I have to add in these windows still. Okay, but that's all we're going to do in this video. In the next one we can get started on our car garage, and then we just have the road to finish and the interiors of this and the garage, the car garage, once we build it. And then we will be finished and we can move on to other things. Okay guys, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. And I will see you next time.